Sometimes the night before any procedure, woohoo, tra water tradition, the putting in of the plastic spacers. Unfortunately, because of timing, that now means putting them in and then going to the poetry event. Water, water everywhere. So, doing this. Got Not an, enough to drink. Got an annoying Viking in the background. Drink water, you dehydrated noodles. <laughs> hey guys, so this is the end of the night before the procedure. It's time to take off all of their jewelry except for the ring that I don't take off and my watch. Um, I will remove those only long enough for the procedure. But I'll remove my other four earrings. So this one, this one, the two that I wear at the top, um, they're all removable by me. Um, I won't wear any of my necklaces. I'll remove the other two rings on this hand, the three rings I wear on this hand. So but tomorrow when I go in, I'll have only one ring and one watch, which will then go in my little pouch that I now have for stuff like this because it happens so often. <laughs> um, I even have a glasses case for every pair of glasses so that um, the fact that I'm switching from my sunglasses um, and these and need to have both with me, I will. I might actually uh, take a larger, slightly larger bag, I'm not sure. I also could probably put these in pockets in my coat because I just have a giant hoodie for a coat. Um, Hey guys, so I'm sorry I didn't update this earlier, but um, I was, well first I was kind of out of it, and then I was like really tired. I had my gastroscopy today, um, which is an upper endoscopy, and so they stick like a thing down your, like a camera thing, down your throat and into your, into your like esophagus and tummy and stuff, and anywhere that they think that they might need to, they take little biopsies and stuff like that. So, um, they said that there's definitely gastritis, which is no big deal. We kind of already, A, knew that, B, that's like low end of the scale, like no big deal, comparatively. And then they took three biopsies. I think I'm still out of it. Anyway, so... Welcome to my skin being all torn up from the monitors. <laughs> that is a heart monitor sticker and what it did to my skin. So is this. I have no idea what they did to this cheek. If this is from just, this is the side they laid me on. So I don't know if this is just from like the hospital laundry or what. Or if it's from if they put like a tube somewhere or if it's from the oxygen tube or what. But so they like super freaked out about my lip ring. So they were like, yeah, you're going to have to take that out. And I'm like, no, I really don't. Like, it's fine. And she was like, but I don't want to have to like pull that out of your lung with like a bronchoscope. And I'm like it's in there really solid. <laughs> and she's like, so, uh, so it's, it's in there tight. It's not going to come out. I was like, I assure you it's not going to come out. So <laughs> she puts, she was like, because she was dealing with like the, um, this thing that they put in your mouth called a bite block. So they, they put this bite block in and then they, um, they use that to put the camera down. So normally they don't put that in your mouth to your sleep. But because she wanted my help working with this, in other words, she, I think, wanted to be able to show me that it wasn't going to work. 
she put it in there and then she was like, oh, it's not even touching it. And then she was like, oh, and that thing's pretty pliable, isn't it? I was like, yep. And then she was, so she has it like in my mouth and I thought she was going to like pop it in and then like pop it back out while they put me out. Um, no. <laughs> she pops it in and she was, she straps my face into it like because it goes in like a strap like... She's like, okay, you're going to go to sleep. And they, like, give me the numbing medication. I felt it go in. Or, like, the sleepy meds. I felt it go in. And I was like, okay. And then I wasn't asleep right away. So I was like, I'm not asleep. <laughs> and I remember just staring at this, like, screen ahead. And she's like, don't fight it. And I was like, I'm not. <laughs> So then she like gave me another dose and then I remember staring at the screen for a few minutes because I was like, I'm going to keep my eyes open until I'm asleep because I don't want them to think I'm asleep when I'm not and do something to me. And I remember it because I just had that horrifying procedure on Monday um, wherein I had not even a local for the two biopsies they took and um, different doctor and uh, no it, it was good it was good I was out I'm just kind of like chilling today and trying to get it all back together um, and so that was my experience with an upper endoscopy and I'm so grateful that Kalista took me, um, I took her to hers, so now she took me to mine, and, um, somehow that was very, very